A disgraced Georgia cemetery owner has begun serving his prison sentence after admitting that he stole from people who thought that they were prepaying for their funeral. It's a story the Fox 5 I team first brought you in February. Fox 5 I team reporter Randy Travis says despite the owner's promises, it's unlikely any of those victims will get back what they paid. Jerry Bridges did what a lot of funeral home and cemetery owners do. He gave people a discount if they prepaid for their funeral service or cemetery plot. The money was supposed to go into an escrow account for safekeeping. But Jerry Bridges admits he kept the money for himself. That just boiled me. I just couldn't see how anybody could do that. Mike Bryant was one of a dozen victims who testified before the sentencing of Jerry Bridges. Years ago, Mike's mom had given Bridges $4,000 for a future funeral. That money, called pre-need, now gone. We're blessed to still have our mother with us, but still, I mean, I don't see how any individual could take somebody's money like that and have no feelings or remorse about paying it back. Jones County investigators identified $216,000 in missing pre-need money with 43 victims. Here's what Bridges told us in February after his arrest. Hey, hey Mr. Bridges. Yes, sir. Randy Travis with Fox 5 News. Yes, how, how you are doing? you? Fine. You got a couple minutes. I'm trying to figure out what happened to all that money from the pre-need. You, you have to discuss that with my attorney. Can you tell us if you're going to help these folks at all? Oh, they're going to get, yeah, they're going to get their money back. They're going to get all their money back? Absolutely. How can you promise them that if you don't know where the money is? I can't talk about that now. This is private property. Since then, prosecutors said the 77-year-old Bridges sold off some of the plots in his cemetery in violation of his bond, insisting those customers pay him in cash. He made no attempt, prosecutors said in court, to give that money to any of his victims. There is no money. Don Bailey lost the most of any Bridges victim, nearly $14,000 set aside for his funeral and burial next to his wife. He decided not to testify at the sentencing. I'm not going to be mean to him about it, no. Uh, he, if he wants, you know, if the meanness was what he did to us. Bridges pled guilty to 43 counts related to theft and fraud and was sentenced to 20 years, five behind bars. This week, the state plans to seize his cemetery and sell off the remaining plots, hoping there's enough left over after paying debts to give victims some restitution. If something had been done sooner, so many of these people wouldn't have been damaged. State Representative Rick Williams says the state missed years of warning signs about Bridges, with the Cemetery and Licensing Board refusing to shut him down as far back as 2008. I think um, some of these boards in the past protected the profession rather than policed the profession. Are there measures in place now to prevent something like this from happening again, do you think? Well, they've made some steps. That includes having pre-need now regulated by the Secretary of State's Security Division, the same people who investigate major financial crime. The idea being they won't give bad actors so much time to keep hurting so many people. Randy Travis, Fox 5 News.